Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our program. Greetings from Boston. My name is Yelena Surilov and I'm an Associate Director of International Engagements at the Office of Alumni Relations. On behalf of Northeastern University and myself, I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy during this strange time. Welcome to our program, The Local View of Georgia Carta. Today, we will tune into a wonderful story by our Indonesian community leader, Arudi Saputra, who obtained his mechanical engineer degree from Northeastern in 2009. I've been working with Rudy for over five years now, and we have delivered in-person and online programs for our alumni, students, and parents. Just last week, Rudy and I have met our new generations, newly admitted students from, uh, from Indonesia who are arriving on campus in less than two weeks. Um, Rudy was born and raised in Jogjakarta, and now he wants to share the beauty and landmarks of this a fantastic city. I'm really in love with that. Without further ado, I would like to turn the microphone phone to Rudy. Rudy, the floor is yours. Hi, good morning, uh, good morning, everyone in Boston, and I will say so. Good, good evening to everyone in Indonesia if you're watching. Uh, my name is Rudy. I graduated from Northeastern in 2009. I major in mechanical engineering. I do have a minor in business administration. Well, I also started the student association, Indonesia Student Association in, at Northeastern on 2007. And um, I'm currently living in Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. Today, I'm just going to talk about Jakarta, the city where I'm raised and I'm, I'm born there and I raised there. Uh, just to give you a little bit background about Indonesia, it's like uh, we are uh, we are actually the fourth largest population in the world. If you, you want to know uh, something more, uh, uh, something more interesting is that we are the largest Muslim country in, in, in the uh, Muslim populated population country in the world. And uh, one of the fact that I'm I'm going to raise to uh, uh, raise today is that uh, we we are three and a half century colonized by the Dutch, and you will see later all the Dutch history in Yogyakarta. And Yogyakarta, uh, honestly speaking, uh, is used to be the capital also for Indonesia be before before uh, the independence in 1945. Okay, can, can, we, can we start now, Okay, first we have the Merapi Muse Museum, okay. If you go to Yogyakarta, this, you have to go to this mountain. It's called the Mount, Mount Merapi. It's like, it's like 30, 40 kilometers up north to Yogyakarta. And it's really, really a uh, great uh, mountain. It's an active volcano mountain that uh, well, still exists and just actually erupted on end of July 2021, actually, the, during the, the, the pandemic. Uh, but uh, inside the museum, is that um, you can see uh, you can yeah, the museum itself present everything you need to know to, uh, to know about the volcano, including the, its history, culture, significance, and more. And then at the at the museum also you can observe the remains of household items and objects. And you can see the I, I mean these objects are actually the. I mean, uh, reoccurred re uh, from the last eruption in 2010. Okay, now maybe next. Okay, the next, the next uh, object uh, you can visit in the Merapi Park is the Merapi Park of the World Landmark. is actually located next to the Merapi Volcano Museum. is a more recreational park. That uh, I mean, if, if you are an Instagram love, lover or selfie lover, is uh, one of the go-to place uh, over there. And the park actually is uh, famous um, because of the miniature. It's all over the world miniature, and actually the park has a unique uh, what is called a plant and, and garden. Garden. I mean, they, they really mimic the, the situation over in a different part of the world, like when you. Like when you go to Netherlands, you can see the, uh, the Netherlands part, you can see the, the tulips and then the Netherlands wooden mills is over there. And then uh, vice versa, you, you can see all different plants of the, of the world. Okay, next. 
Okay, the next one is the I think I think this is this is one of my uh, favorite uh, spot in Mount Merapi. Is like I uh, Wait, let me check. Oh yeah, is 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 actually the the uh, castle castle itself is served as a reminder of what happened during the 2006 eruption because in 2006 the Yogyakarta the city itself is uh, have a very bad eruption so like the whole entire village is called Kepuharjo having uh, destroyed the area and the houses were swept clean and and I think and and the castle itself is actually uh, Serve as a mon monument also for the castle protective event, and the castle the castle was built using stone and uh, volcanic rock rocks from the eruption. I think you should you should go visit. I mean I mean you you, you will see the magnificent of the I mean the, the rock structure and then uh, some, uh and and you still can do smell uh, some of the volcanic rock or uh, if if you doesn't if if you try try not uh to, if if you don't go for the for the lava tour and everything. Okay, next. Okay, next one is uh, one of the go-to places also. Uh, you normally go to this place, uh, like Alec, Alec, uh, for is like is hike, hiking in Klangon, Klangon Hill. It's like you can do cycling also or running or jog, jogging also. It's, it's actually uh, one of the places that you can actually is, uh, see the Mount Merapi in the, in the morning or sunset, it's very, very clear. and. Most of the local like to have a, a, a camping over there and enjoy the view and then have have a quiet moment like enjoy yourself. Yeah, it, I think it's uh, if you, if you want to try something uh, outdoor and ad adventure, yeah, is is one of one of the places that you can go. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, I think this is the the main highlight of the Marap Mount Marapi is like. If you have the chance, uh, please try the lava tour. It's really, really very interesting and adventurous. It's like uh, if you if you have you been to the Savari Desert, the one in in Middle East is similar to that. But this time around, uh, we are we, we are going to on an adventure, um, getting closer to the mountain. It's like uh, it's like one of the fa uh, interesting fact that if you get closer to the mountain, you can see the rising temperature of the land and then sometimes you, you can see smoke coming out from the uh, the land itself so it's really really very interesting and very adventurous is uh, one of a lifetime experience for me actually yeah okay I think that's all for for the Mon Merapi and then okay now we are back to the city uh, Jogja, Jogjakarta itself is um, is basically it's a like uh, is is a, a place for the sultan in Jogja. Yeah. So the 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 the, the sultan in Jogja they, they live in a in a palace called Krat Kraton. So okay, like like you can see uh, the pic the the picture uh, from over here is that picture yeah. On the, the one on the left, it is, is actually the main entrance over there. Like you can just go visit the palace. And it, anytime uh, during the day, the palace is not normally uh, have a working hour. Just go there. There is plenty of guides around. Just go there and ask them. Uh, the the guides are, are official from the Minister of Tourism. So don't worry about getting scammed or everything. They, they normally have a license and they are there. They are also fluent in English normally, and uh, one of the thing that I like about this Kraton place that I actually I do visit and 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 actually have a wait sometimes uh, is is the is the royal event like something that as a child last time I maybe did like we 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 like we like to watch also on the street when the uh, the Sultan wore or, or during during the royal wedding they they have. And, and you can see like in the, the middle of the uh, slide is like picture is actually the main hall where most of the 
most most of the event have happened during 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 the time until now is is yeah. and you can see from the architecture also is is um, mm, is actually influenced by the Dutch and and Javanese architect. Yeah. Okay. Next is the you can see the top. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Then next is the museum is right across to the Kraton Palace. Just go there and see the artifact. Uh, one of the things that I like about the museum is that I can see really see one of the very very cool. Uh, carts and then all all vehicle from the Dutch era. I, I, I think they really really keep and a lot of uh, Mataram re remains over there and treasure. You can you can see. Um, e, and and it's actually basically it's more most most of the stuff you can find in the museum is the 16th and 17th century during during that era. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think. You guys should try uh, to write this thing called Andong. It's like um, really have the time. It's like a horse carriage. You can see the cart because we go, we used to be colonized by the Dutch, so we still have those. Uh, I mean, you can see the Andong itself is actually a Dutch influence. And go go around the city with the Andong, uh, and and uh, and it's 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 it's, it's still very as as expensive also is like if i kind of if i remember correctly it costs like less than 10 bucks like you can get a get a half half, half an hour ride over the andong yeah. okay okay next with that um, the next one is like <clears throat> uh, when you're in the city of Yogyakarta, you can after visiting the seat the kraton the museum and then the uh, riding the and the Andong, you can shop at Malioboro, and, and then uh, you can get the local souvenir here and like the batik and everything. And one of the interesting parts uh, that I want to show over here is that uh, I want to show that Indonesia actually used to be a Buddhist Buddhist country where uh, where we we, we actually uh, we are actually a Buddhist and Hindu, Hindu, Hinduism country. Like you can see the the word under the Jalan Malioboro is that is sim similar to the Buddhism in Th Thailand actually though, uh, so so the uh, so um, basically in Yogyakarta people are used to be Buddhist but uh, after couple uh, after the 16 and 70 era we most where, where the Islam come in they they actually change change the 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 era yeah something like that okay next. Okay, this is. Uh, I think you guys should try this. Personally, for me, is really, really very interesting. And um, this is the. Uh, if basically, if, if you talk about Yogyakarta, people they normally say about Budok is like made from jackfruit. But I will personally recommend you this stuff because this is not something that you can get uh, somewhere uh, in the world, but except in Jogja because I, I've been to other places. They doesn't make this. The, the one that I want to show you uh, is, is the picture on the left. It's called Angringan. Angringan is actually a food, food cart. And you must try the quail egg. They, they, have, they have a quail egg cooked in Malacca um, sugar. It's really, really very good. And to, to pair that, you have to drink it the coffee, coffee joss. Coffee joss is uh, basically coffee. But the uh, interesting part is that they throw uh, charcoal, it's a wooden charcoal inside. The, they heat up the charcoal. Country 482 Fahrenheit and throw it over there and they, they will make this sound like just sound and they normally uh, sell this at night and I, I think I remember Yelena asked me why why is it during at night and, and then I just I do some research is that this actually drinks it's, it's one of the drink that uh, the guard in the, in the past used used to drink at, at night so to keep them awake and, and aware to, to to, to safeguard the, the palace, yeah. Okay, next. Okay, next we go to Chandi Borobudur. Okay, like I told you earlier that um, 
the Candi Borobudur is a Buddhist temple where I told you earlier that Yogyakarta or Indonesia itself it used to be an, you know, a Buddhist country. Um, so, okay, uh, I think we should go ahead. Okay, that, uh, that uh, personally, one of the activity that you should try if you really have time to go to Yogyakarta is try to see the sunrise. And uh, from 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 the Borobudur, it's really really very good, very nice. I mean, very very magical. Like you do it in the uh, five in the morning, like uh, the park itself open at six, but you can pay pay a ticket and then you, you can travel from Yogyakarta. The the temple itself is like 30, 40 minutes from from Yogyakarta, so you can like so, uh, go there from four o'clock and then reach there at five. It's like a, a hotel right next to the temple itself, the, com the temple complex, and they just go in there. They will have got everybody and. And they will get you up until the top, and then you can see the sunrise over there. It's really, really very beautiful. I mean, there is there is sometimes there is no word can can describe uh, the, the moment. If you really have time to go to Yogyakarta and visit Borobudur, please try the sunrise there. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, then next one is like. You can you can explore the complex. The complex stuff is uh, I do actually recommend you when you want to tr uh, travel and explore the complex. Do it in the morning because otherwise it's going to be very very sunny or rainy during the day because we can't predict the weather over there. It's like after you do the sunrise, it's like you can walk around the complex itself. Uh, the complex stuff is uh, not so big. It's only one hundred twenty three times. 123 meters around the complex. And you can actually try to count how many stupas are there, but I'll tell you right now, it's, uh, there's 72 stupas over there, the small dome you can see, and there is a Buddha uh, over there. Okay, next. Okay, next, if you are there also, after you walk around the complex, you can try to start visit the museum over there. I mean, the Borobudur Museum holds a number of archaeological artifacts, and then as well as some of the ramage from the temple, such as the unfinished giant Buddha statue. And I do some research, and they said that it's supposedly to be one of the, the inner statue of the largest stupa located at the top of the temple. I mean, the temple itself, um, I'm not sure, but uh, it might have been some vandalized during the, during the World War, something like that. OK. Next. Okay, then if you do have the chance like to shop at Malioboro, uh, I think there is a shopping complex around the temple also. Like you can try to get some of the local handicraft and then like batik is like a handwritten cloth. It's one of the famous thing. And then you can do the wayang and then you can get some wooden craft. Yeah, some, uh, and maybe Try some food also over there. Yeah, it should, 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 should be nice and some of the local drink. Okay. Next. Okay. Just this part actually is uh, something that I did uh, almost every year since 2014. And it's like I'm, I'm personally a family grown, uh, raised Buddhist, and we go there. During the month, of, uh, we, we we go to Borobudur a couple of um, couple of time, but uh, during this month, during I mean uh, the holiday itself is a floating holiday on May. It's like uh, what really happened is that if you can visit Borobudur during May and basically during the Vaisak, you can see that most all all the Buddhist people around the world will just gather and they pray and uh, they they actually light up a lampion. Uh, they, they go to the sky, so they put every prayer and everything on the on the lampion, and then we just uh, light it up together and, and really fly. It's one of the moment that uh, I mean, it's one uh, one of the moment that you can just really describe by word. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, that's it um, for my tour about Yogyakarta. If you guys have really have three days, do visit these three places that I really recommend that. I personally keep going back to these couple of places, uh, although I've been there a couple of times, but yeah, it's really, really, really memorable for me. That's excellent. Thank you so much, Rudy, for uh, sharing your memories and uh, all these beautiful uh, places in Georgia Carta. 
Um, I have the first question, if you don't mind. Um, sure. What is the, how do you guys get the announcement about the volcanic eruptions? Is that like you have an announcement uh, uh, a day in advance, a few days in advance? How does it work? What if- uh, uh, I, I, think, I think after the 2000, yeah, I think after the 2010 eruption where we really, really hit uh, hard enough. I mean, the 2006 was worse and the worst, but after that, the government, because of the political issue and everything, in 2010, the government start to have this um, invested, invested in this call early, early warning system where then the siren, everything like uh, basically it's like a sys seismograph and everything. Like, 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 like you can see from in, on a snail engineering building. There's this, this one says seismograph also where you walk and you can see the vibration and everything. And uh, ba basically the eruption itself doesn't re really, really not that uh, destructive, but the after the eruption is like the dust and everything that really hurts people's life because it caused, I mean, breeding problem and everything. It just kill all the plants around. I mean, all the harvest and everything will get affected. Do I need to bring a mask when I'm going to, uh, for example, oh, when I'm course, going to a you have to actually You have to evacuate from the area because it's not a breeding suitable area anymore. So, 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 so it's like being, being if, if, if you are in Boston, uh, in Boston, normally you see the Prudential Tower. It's like the, the color will turn red on the top, actually. Though. Maybe, maybe Indonesia will turn black. Yeah, yeah. I the, see. The, the weather situation is very bad. Yeah. yeah. And what is, when is the best time to visit Jakarta? Uh, is that um, obviously during the month of May when there is yeah. a, a, I, a I personally I do recommend you like to visit during the May June, like uh, during your spring or summer in, in in the US. Otherwise, because Indonesia we are a tropical country, and then during November until February we get very very wet, and you just you just don't want to get, uh, I mean, rainy season over here. And then if you go July or August, it's going to be extremely hot and humid over here. And I see a couple of people, and then they are, they are not very comfortable with it. I mean, May and June is really nice. I mean, the weather is good, and honestly speaking. Uh, it's, it's one of the best time to visit Yogyakarta because uh, Australia is having winter. So when the wind blow from uh, from the south, it's actually get a lot colder and less mosquito actually. And be, be actually be, be aware, beware that in Indonesia, I mean, we do have this mosquito problem and try 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 to visit during, during the time, not in the rainy season, I guess mosquito will be all around. Okay, good to know about mosquitoes. Yeah, those are not, <laughs> not my favorite animals. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to um, unmute yourself when, uh, um, if you can, or just uh, put your questions in Q&A. Um, but um, uh, yeah, feel free to, to ask any questions um, and we will be happy to answer. Um, so Rudy, when it, when, while people are thinking about the questions, when was the last time you were in Boston? Two years ago, I'm, I the, the the moment when I visited you is like during uh, I, I 2019. Yeah, right before COVID, right with that. Yeah, right before COVID, I was I was I was I was actually going on my honeymoon. And I actually traveled back to Boston and visit Northeastern. I see, I see. Yeah, it yeah. Uh, it feels like it, it was forever. It was only two years yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, the, everything was so different when you are in the U.S. I mean, and then, then back here in Indonesia, it's like the people, the culture and everything. What is the most uh, desired or favorite uh, um, gift or uh, souvenir that usually people are bringing from Jakarta? Do you, is that uh, famous for something in particular? Yes, uh, I, I used to bring a lot of... Uh, uh, like um, ginger candy, we call it ting ting jahe from Indonesia to the, to the US, and uh, be, be, because because Indonesia, uh, one of the reason why Indonesia is being colonized by the Dutch for three and a half centuries is because of the of their spices actually. Yeah. yeah, Indonesia is actually very famous for the spice, and if you're in and if you want to try also like. Uh, 
the coffee in Indonesia is also very good. If you try, if you if you go to Starbucks or everywhere, and you will see this a coffee called Java or Sumatra is all made in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And we do have one of the oldest uh, roasting plant in Java area. I think around Yogyakarta area, where where they actually still export the coffee to to Netherlands. Yeah, it's it been a couple, yeah. couple, lot, lot of history, history and artifact in Indonesia actually. Yeah, and how do you get to this Yogyakarta? Is that by boat or by, for example, I landed in uh, uh, Jakarta. So if, what do I do? Yeah. You, you, you have to take plane from Jakarta. Normally, the plane ride takes only like sixty minute plane ride, and Yogyakarta has 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 a plan, plenty of flight from Jakarta or even from Bali. So everybody down here is, doesn't know that um, Bali is actually part of Indonesia. Like most of you might think that Bali is a country, but no, Bali is a, is one of the city in. Uh, no, Bali is one of the island in Indonesia where the capital is called Denpasar and. Yeah, it's famous. Is and Bali. Why is it Bali so uh, different? Like it's actually the island itself, but the mostly uh, Hindu people live on there. Actually, yeah. Interesting. Well, uh, I don't see any more questions um, coming to uh, to our Q and A. Um, is mm -hmm. there anything else that you wanted to share about this uh, beautiful city or? Um, oh like yes, yes, yes. Mind. actually if you can see from the background is uh, is one of the also another Chandi is another temple is actually Chandi Prambanan is a Hindu temple like if if but I do recommend you if you have only have three days like the one that told me like uh, please visit Borobudur the Prambanan temple is kind of a smaller but is Hindu Hinduism temple but yeah it's, you, you will find something interesting there also over there and. And please, uh, when, when you visit when you visit the Yogyakarta, it doesn't it, you don't need to be worried about the people over there. I mean, people ask me like, oh, they are Muslim, everything, but no, they they are very very tourist friendly. It's it's, it's like it's like uh, you go to Thailand, I go to Phuket, everything. Uh, why actually I do recommend Yogyakarta is like is this despite being a Muslim populated country, but this area they are really really welcome to the tourists. With the, with the tourists and they're really, really accustomed uh, with, the, with, 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 with the having outsider and then over there speaking English and drinking maybe some uh, alcohol and everything. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> and I understand right now there's, uh, there's a lockdown in Jakarta, right? So people are not um, going out and are strictly you know, staying at home to prevent the COVID spread. Um, is there a... Um, <laughs> Quarantine. The one you you know, when somebody flies to the country, is there quarantine right now? Uh, yes, the lockdown is actually happening right now in the whole Java, Bali, and I think the whole Indonesia. Right, international flight uh, coming from everywhere around the world uh, will concentrated into Jakarta and Surabaya, like two major. And I think it's Bali too. Like everybody have to get quarantine for, I think now it's eight days. Eight days quarantine, and they will give you a designated hotel you can choose and everything. But mm, don't, don't don't worry, we will, we will enjoy some some of the local food. You still can get. I mean, you can order room service. Everything is fine. Yeah, we all hope when this COVID is, uh, you know. Yeah, we we do actually hope and yeah, and and we we are actually very thankful as this moment right now. I mean, we we receive help from the U.S. government. I mean, the Moderna vaccine already being I mean distributed among Indonesian also right now. I think we receive like uh, four or five million dose, doses already to be the, to to help to help relieve our our COVID situation in Indonesia right now. Yeah. So, what is the percentage once the population is vaccinated? Right Do now, you know? I haven't checked recently, though. But uh, I already get my second shot. But um, but the city itself is still under lockdown, so we we, we just couldn't get anywhere. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is a difficult time for all of us, and especially in the you know in the countries like yours where you're really on lockdown. Uh, we actually be. Um, you know, lucky in that case because we were not never on real lockdown in the sense as you were. 
but uh, hopefully this uh, will pass soon and you will be guys uh, out uh, from your uh, houses and enjoy your life in fullest. Um, I don't see any questions coming out, um, you know, uh, at this time, I guess um, everybody were, you know, satisfied with your uh, tour. Uh, thank you so much again for, uh, you know, for your work, for your time spent on this presentation. Um, I really enjoyed working with you and I hope we will uh, deliver many more um, online or in-person programs. So uh, to our uh, constituencies, whether they are in Indonesia or around the world or in the United States. Well, thank you so much for all of those who are participated. I hope you enjoy the program. The recording will be available soon. Uh, uh, on our YouTube channel. Please visit our YouTube channel and see how many wonderful stories we have to, we, we can share with you um, over there. Um, and thank you so much again for um, coming uh, to us and joining this presentation. Thank you, Rudy. I will uh, right, talk to you, you soon. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Thank you.